Hello curry peeps, I'm at Bargy Fresh Warrington. Again, this is Misty Ricardo, aka Richard Sace, uh, cookbook author and uh, video YouTuber. In this takeaway is actually quite similar, well very similar to a, a madras, but it's hotter. That, that literally is a simplicity to it, but it's very, very delicious. Uh, we start off with a hot pan. It's quite hot. Yep, yeah, we'll start like that. We're going to add a couple of chef spoons of oil, about that much. Yep. Going to let that heat up, but not too much that the garlic burns when we when we add it. So in with the in with the garlic ginger paste. A bit more, perhaps. Was well, that about right? Yeah, that's about, that's about right. Yeah. I'm cooking um, their own recipe here, so. I'm taking guidance from the expert chef, Ab Abdul, Abdul Malik. Thank you very much for the nice words. Na name and shame him. <laughs> so it's sizzling nicely. When it starts to stop sizzle, sizzling, goes a bit quieter and it, it crackles more. That means it's uh, getting cooked. So to so this, I'm going to add salt. Yeah, bit, of, bit of salt. A bit of kasturi methi. Bit of kasturi methi. Perfect. A bit more. A bit more. Yeah. A bit more. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yep. Some mixed powder in. Well, I shouldn't have doubled it there, but never mind. Um, and we've got chili powder about that much. Perfect. Is that yeah, all right? Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. We're gonna add a bit more because yeah. I, I kind of like, like it hot. So that we're gonna cook that, cook that out. Uh, yeah. Give that a few seconds on the high heat. To let cook those spices out properly. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon. That's perfect. Yep. A tablespoon of tomato puree. Yeah. Put the heat down a bit so it's not really yep, cold. that's it. Very fierce flame, so about that. About that much, yeah, yeah. it does burn quickly, doesn't it? Or I'll tries to. Add the base if you want. Yeah, we're base to quench quench the spices. Just a little, I'm gonna put just a tiny bit in yeah. first so I can deglaze. Put the lemon juice. And lemon juice will also help with the to deglaze the pan, so about that much. Slide a bit more. A bit more? Perfect. Yep. Once you've done that, uh, you can put the actual beef in. Yep, that's, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> <laughs> that's that incorporated. So we can afford to put a lot in at a time. Perfect. Is that okay? I'm yeah. going to turn the heat up a bit. Uh, now we've got more stuff in the pan. Now a bit of coriander, I think. Yeah, yep. fresh coriander. There we go. Perfect. And the lamb? The lamb, yeah. <coughs> You're going to have to tell me to, when to stop with this. Yeah. Yep, go ahead. One more piece. One more piece. And uh, that's the perfect portion. Yep, cool. We'll put about, say, about nine to ten pieces. Sorry, we just had to turn the fan up full because the chilli powder really kind of pervades your senses and makes you cough. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> So we incorporated that in and we're going to leave it for a few minutes. That looks amazing. It looks better quickly than that I cook. <laughs> <coughs> it's your recipe, mate. I'm just, I'm just following instructions. That's magic. Thank you. <coughs> oh, excuse, excuse me, having a coughing fit. I'm just bad to hold it, man. <laughs> we'll let it sit without stirring it. So it kind of sticks a bit to the bottom of the pan and the sides, caramelises. But the heat's quite fierce, so we're going to have to stir it once in a while to stop it burning. Stirring it one handedly rather, rather amateurishly, because I'm using the other hand to hold the camera. I like it a little bit looser than this, so I'm going to add just a touch more base gravy. Unlike any sort of curry that's hot in temperature in the pan, it does tend to thicken up a little bit once you've served it. So even though it looks fairly you know, saucy now, we'll reduce it a bit more, but when we've, um, when we serve it up, it will thicken up nicely. Yep, that is ready. See the nice fronds on the side. We'll turn the heat off. 
and we're going to serve up. Right, let's have a taste of this lamb vindaloo, which I just cooked at Bargy Fresh. Taste the sauce first. I'll let it cool down a bit. I'm taking this home later with me, so I will demolish the rest of it later, but I'm going to have a quick taste of it now. Nice looking sauce. I added a bit more base gravy because I like it that way. So uh, I think the way Chef Abdul cooked it was, was a bit thicker than this. Mmm, that's very nice. As ever, curry will taste better when it's cooled down a bit and had a chance to mature. Right, so let's try some of this lamb. Oh, mmm. -hmm. Gorgeous. Yeah. Very delicious. Thank you for watching. <coughs> this is Mr. Ricardo, also known as Richard Stace. At Bargy Fresh, Warrington.